take a look at this bracelet here. This idea is that you're passing the memory wire through a bead and then through a link on the chain and then through another bead. So for example, you're going to take your regular size memory wire here and I would just start out by adding one of my chain links. This is a very small cable chain and then stringing a bead onto the wire. Then you need to bring it as close as you can to the end of the wire without letting it fall off here and bring your chain link up. You might need to allow just a little bit of space in between the, la the bead and the next link. And you're going to push this down, add another bead, and now I'll need to bring this back out so that I'm very close to the end and then bring my chain link up onto here. And then you would just continue adding your beads and your chain links. So this is another, another technique for adding some texture to your memory wire bracelet. I'll go ahead and add my link on here. And you can see at the end, I'll bring this one over. I just made some, a basic loop using my bail making pliers. And here you can embellish that by opening it up with your chain nose pliers. And if you want to add some charms here, that's a, a fun way to add some extra flair to the end of your bracelet, just passing this onto the loop. You want to get it open with your chain nose first, bring it on, and then close the loop back shut. And then that's another way that you can add some embellishment to the end of your bracelet. Now bracelets are a high impact accessory that you could easily make tonight and wear tomorrow.